Good Saturday afternoon, fellow corner followers. It's about noon and uh, headed out to the farm. This week's been a little bit of an interesting week. It's the first week of 2022 here in January. And we really had our first cold snap and a couple inches of snow. Um, so just going out there to see what's going on. I think dad's out there and uh, burning a couple brush piles since there's a little more moisture on the ground. So we'll get out there and see what's going on today. Out here, just got out here to the farm. Just a tiny bit of snow left on the ground. It was a super dry, fluffy snow this time, which is very kind of uncharacteristic for uh, this area. Usually we get a wet snow that you can't blow or really push anything. It's just a lot of moisture, which we, we need a lot of moisture actually right now. But uh, the ground out here is very dry, so gonna get on the Alice probably and drive around and see what we see. Weather was very cold this week, so no guarantees that this tractor starts at all get the gas on let it flow down through the filter into the carburetor get some going here there i see it uh let's see if the battery held up i guess that's a no-go it was uh, several days in zero degrees overnight and that's not the strongest battery we have so uh, looks like the battery charger is already on the h here so we're going by foot for a little bit to check things out the m does seem like it's got a strong enough battery so i'll be back out here later but this is an important thing to do when you've been out in the cold and the snow's been on it dump that seat off and let it drain there and drip for a while i'll be back in a little bit You working out here, hiding out? Not really. Looks like you hauled some rock today though. Okay, after some bullshit in there around the campfire, uh, he just set up that campfire ring this morning here. That's eventually gonna be our uh, cabin site here where we're building a little 10 by 16 off-grid cabin. I thought we were gonna get started today, but the ground's really wet and sloppy and we have a lot of dollars in lumber on the trailer, so I don't think we want to get that out yet today. Just going over the plans. He took down an old gate he built back when he was in high school. We're going to see about getting the tractor started. Nothing wants to start well today. And uh, come over here with the loader, grab that, and re-weld it up and uh, get that put back in place. Okay, walking back over. I'm actually going to stop here at the M. I've let it uh, drip off for a little bit. Turn the gas on here. Gas turned on here on the M on the way back to the Quonset. Flip my seat back over. Oh, let's climb up here. Ignition switch on, choke on, neutral. Let's press the starter in and see what. Okay, that actually took a lot of cranking for this tractor, but it's been cold. It's been cold out here. Take my muffler can, and I'm just gonna let it sit here for a while, look at my clock so I know when. Let it sit here, idle for a little while while we work on some other things. Uh, I changed the oil, so I know the oil's all good in it a week or two ago, but uh, don't know rear end oil, how thick some of that stuff might be. Just let it sit there, warm up, charge the batteries up and go from there. Cleaning the battery terminals. Did it finally get bad enough that after yeah. looking at bad terminals for... I think it's time. I mean, you might get another start or two out of it. Yeah. On a warm day with a brand new battery. Again, we've put up a video of this one on the channel. This is the 1941 Farmall H with the John Deere 45 trip bucket loader. And it uh, it actually, the way the snow drifted across the seam in the roof, uh, got snowed on inside the barn, probably as good as my M did out uh, outside. So there's that, I guess. Okay, just got the charger put on the WD. Like I said, it's been a really cold week, so gonna leave the charger on it for a little bit. But out there, got the M running, so let's go get it. Uh, 
It's probably been running for 15 minutes now. Should be warmed up. Bring it up here and uh, maybe take it for a tiny bit of a drive. Uh, that's how cold it is, icing up the carb. Icing up the carb a little bit. Typically on this one, I just turn the gas off and let it run the carburetor out because I don't know the next time I'll be starting it. It could be later today, it could be next week. So get the fuel out of the bowl there on the carburetor, just keep them from gumming up any of the needles or anything like that in it. I'll remember to go back. I didn't put the uh, turn the coil off yet, obviously, and I didn't put the can over the muffler. So I don't do those things, either of them, until I'm ready to put one or the other done. So how's the battery project going? From the sound of it, he got the battery terminals fixed. I moved my car. I think we're gonna get ready to burn this big brush pile. No wind today, and like I said, a little bit of moisture, which we haven't had. So, I bet he gets his butt wet driving this out of here, and he's gonna try to get me to drive it out. Porter Richard. And this is a pretty big brush pile out here. This was the first uh, last winter with COVID and everything going on. We literally cut all of these trees down in this whole hawk house area. And they went all the way down here, down these tree rows here, opened all of it up. And uh, this is one of the many piles we have out here now, but just need to clean up. We really wanted the snow on the ground out here. Not that it could go anywhere, but uh, just to get it started and be safe about it. So what year do you think you built this gate? About 75. So about 50 years ago? Yeah. Would you say you've got your money's worth out of it? It's a warm one. It's a real warm one.
Okay, been a pretty productive afternoon out here so far. Fire pit is quickly, quickly just smoldering down to ashes here. We've been pushing it with the H. We've been pushing the fire pit with the H. Dad got the gate welded up and he's actually headed out there now with it. Uh, let's go see him over there. Okay, YouTube followers, thanks for following along today. Overall, a pretty, uh, pretty productive Saturday out here on the farm for the first, uh, I guess the first full Saturday in uh, January of 2022. Fire's pretty much under control. Dad got a gate welded up today. Got a fire pit put together out of the cabin site. So hopefully in the next week or two, we start seeing some progress out there on the weekends. Just gotta see what the weather brings us here in Kansas, but thanks for following along. If you like this, make sure you like and subscribe our channel and uh, tell us you wanna see more.